First up, serving love. This comes from Philippians chapter two. This is what Francis Chan says is maybe the most important passage in the Bible uh, when it comes to marriage. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of the others. In your relationship with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus, who, of course, looked at us, the object of his affection, as more important than himself, and that's why he came and died for our sin. That's why he came down from heaven. That's what that passage is literally about. So is this part of your life where you do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, but you look at your spouse and you say to them, this person is actually more important than me. Can you imagine how your marriage or relationships would change? But when we get involved with people, like when, when I started dating Aaron and we started, kind of, I got into that 22 range. And I'm like, hey, am I going to ask this girl to marry me? The funny thing is, is that we tend to like, I looked at her and said, what can she bring to me? Right? Like, that's what, like, okay, she's good looking. She'll probably be a good mom. She makes me happy. She seems like a fun person. Like, but still, and then, of course, she did the same with me. 100%. Yeah, okay, good. good so looking, he's good. Muscly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So all those things, you know, he's going to be, and, 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 but in that moment, it's interesting because we're still asking the question about how it can benefit us versus 180 and go, man, how do I serve them? So imagine first vision for your marriage, guys. Wake up every day and go, how is she going to flourish? What does she want to happen in our marriage? And then for her to go, what does he want to happen in our marriage? How do I make him flourish? And if you both do that, that's what this serving love is actually all about. Some days, I'm gonna wake up and be like, okay, hey, Aaron, this morning we're gonna snuggle and it's in the morning and hello. And then others, it's like, I'm gonna shut my mouth till noon because she doesn't wanna talk. And it's like, let's exegete the difference between those two days because they're going to be different, right? So that's how you serving love, that's what it's all about. That's right. And this is going to look different in the different seasons of life. Serving love will evolve and change just like we evolve and change. The person we are when we marry is not the same person we are 10 years in, 20 years in, 50 years in. At 17, when we started dating, I was a different person than we were at 22 when we got right. married. When I was 25 and had crazy health problems and had surgery after surgery, the way that Mark needed to show me love in those seasons was vastly different. The way that I was able to show him love by serving him was different in those seasons. And so it's really important to keep this in mind as we go is that as years go, as loss happens, as growth happens, all of these things come into play and the way that we feel loved will be different in those seasons. And so we need to evolve with that. It's super important that we cultivate this friendship with our spouse daily. Because what's going to happen is if you're not on the daily working on this and evolving with your partner in this servanthood of love, is that you're going to find yourself waking up next to a stranger one day yeah. and wondering, where do we go from here? It's all